This is part two of the question, what are we going to do about the fact that women are getting so smart? Also known as, this is the first time in history where women academically are marrying down more than men. So what do we do with that? I had a guy just, you know, simply say, how do, how do you think this is going to affect the future of marriages? And I had um, a female uh, PhD student from Oxford um, say, hey, I really desire to be married, but I feel like my academic achievements have intimidated men. And I, what do I do? Do I just act like a dumb blonde? <laughs> and the answer is no. And um, I, I answered the guy in, in part one that I actually think this is a way that you can really try to discern um, if this woman really admires you for who you are and not just because you protect and provide. And so I want to say now to the, the Oxford student and the women out there who feel like, you know, will feel like me. I mean, I'm, I'm driven in the, in the ministry that I do. I like doing projects. I like helping friends with things. I like to work. Um, and I think that, as well as just the nature of my work about relationships, can be intimidating to some guys. Why? Yeah has nothing to do with my personality. Um, no, but I do think there's this thing of like, okay, do we have to act dumb so a guy will feel like, you know? And it can oftentimes lead to us having an attitude. And so I want to encourage women, stop having an attitude. Just because you have a PhD or because you have a better job and now you think, oh, these guys are unmotivated and they're not doing this and why won't guys just step it up? Well, oftentimes it can be because we do, we're starting to have an air of superiority. And so I wanna caution against that. I also wanna say I think that um, we have to recognize that sometimes we have sensitivities that somebody else doesn't have. You, ladies, have sensitivities in areas that some men do not have. And I really do believe that a big sensitivity for many men is in the area of work and provision. And they want to be able to take care of a woman, not because they think she needs to be taken care of, but just because that's something that they desire to do. And so when there was that inauthentic model, because women literally didn't, couldn't get jobs, there was a false sense of admiration that some women had for men to get married, to find a money bags. Now, because women don't need that, it's a gift that we can give to men to show our gratitude, to show our appreciation, even if they've gotten laid off, or even if they didn't have the opportunity to go to the schools that we went to. Um, and so how do we do that authentically? Um, my father often says in the, you know, in the conferences, the Love and Respect conferences, that women CEOs get it. They know how to run companies. They are competent. But when they come home, they don't play CEO to their husband. They are a wife in relationship to a man. And so I feel like we have the opportunity to figure that out, not have an attitude, and to put on respect authentically just because it's an area that a man needs and he needs to feel like he has something to offer and that we believe in him, that we believe that he can. And then your academic achievements don't even matter. Your job statuses don't even matter because you both are so secure in the fact that you've taken the time to understand what his needs are, he's taken the time to understand what her needs are, and neither of you are letting your insecurities or your accomplishments put you on different playing fields. You're a partnership and you believe in one another. On the next Ask Joy. Joy plugs the giving keys. Do you guys know about the giving keys? Seriously though, it's something worth checking out. Caitlin Crosby, she started making these to employ um, homeless people that are in transition. You get a word stamped on a key that you want to embrace. Once you feel like you've grasped that word, then you have to give it away. I'm like trying not to figure out how to breathe so that I can keep this for a long time because I love it. That's my word, breathe. Can you see it? I don't know which way to hold it. That was not paid for by thegivingkeys.com.